This video will teach you how to interpret and sketch graphs. Let's begin by describing what is happening in the graph below. The title is Day Trip Adventure, so maybe this is a graph of your family's day trip, and time in hours is on the x-axis, and distance in kilometers is on the y-axis. Let's start by talking about two new things to you, domain and range. And basically the domain is all of the values that x can be. So let's highlight the values, the labels on the x-axis, and it runs from 0 to 6. So x is our variable. The lowest value x can be is 0 on that graph, and the highest value that x is is 6. So we would say that x is between 0 and 6, and that's our domain. Our range refers to the y-axis. Highlight those values, we can see they run from 0 to 80. The variable that we're looking at is y. And we can say that the lowest value y is is 0 on that graph, and the highest value that y is is 80. So y must be between 0 and 80. Now we're going to interpret what is happening in each scenario of the graph. So in the first section, as time increases, distance increases from 0 to 40 kilometers. The second section, as time increases, distance remains the same. So there's a one hour window where that object is not moving. For the third section, as time increases, distance increases from 40 to 70 kilometers. The fourth section, as time increases, distance remains the same, so the object or the vehicle is at rest again. And the fifth and final segment here, as time increases, distance decreases and returns back to zero, or the car returns back to its starting point. If we're looking at steps for graphing that we're going to take, the very first thing to do is make a table of values. The second thing is to draw a Cartesian plane or your graph. Third, plot coordinate points. And fourth, label the axes and titles, including your units. Let's take a look at an example of a table of values where we see time and views of the YouTube channel. And time is the independent variable on the x-axis and views is going to be the dependent variable on the y-axis. You can see our coordinate points 0, 0, 2, 7, 4, 15, and so on. So let's use that table of values to create a graph using those following steps. Let's begin by identifying our table of values on the left-hand side. And the very first step after we have that is to make our Cartesian plane. We're looking just at quadrant one here, where time is on the x-axis and hours and views is on the y-axis. Title would be channel views, something like that. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please feel free to go ahead and do that right now. Thank you very much. Other than that, we're going to look at labeling our axes. On the x-axis, we go from 0 to 8. And on the y-axis, we go from 0 to 35. So now we have to identify and plot our points, each coordinate point, beginning with 0, 0. So let's plot that point. Just make a, a dot that's easy to see. The second coordinate point is 2, 7. So 2, 7 is right there. The third coordinate point, 4, 15. We go over, there it is. And 6, 25 is our fourth coordinate point. And our last coordinate point is 8, 32. Now we have to make a line of best fit, which is basically a straight line that best represents our data that we have. So I'm going to make mine. You're going to use a ruler for this, as well as a pencil or a pen, so that's easy to see. And there is our line of best fit. We can see that as the graph increases in the x direction, or time increases, the graph will increase in the y direction or the views will increase. There you go. Please let us know in the comments below video ideas you'd like to see, and please subscribe to the How-To Scholar for more how-to videos.